Hey there everyone, in today's video we are going to talk about product inquiry form. So with the help of this form, you will be able to create a product inquiry form in the product page. Okay, let me explain you. So as everybody knows, with the help of WooCommerce plugin, we are able to create an e-commerce website on WordPress. Okay, so on an e-commerce website, there are a lot of products available, right? And each and every product has their own uh, description, product reviews and all that. But generally, all the products don't have a product form so that each and every customer can reach out to that particular product inquiry. So let me explain you like there will be a form like this so that each and every customer, if they want to inquiry only for a specific product, they can reach out to the admin. OK, so I will explain you how everything works fine. So first of all, you need to buy this plugin. As you can see, we are on the official website of the WooCommerce uh plugin you can always get it from here or you can get it from anywhere else so i'm assuming that you have already bought this plugin and it is already uh, downloaded on your computer laptop or pc whatever you are using okay so next step is to move forward to your wordpress website so as you can see i generally use this uh, youtube.samheranclub.com domain for all my U youtube video tutorials right and right now for the moment as you can see there is a very amazing looking beautiful looking e-commerce website up and running on this domain so if you want to know how to make a very beautiful looking e-commerce website uh, with very few easy steps and uh, with all the free resources do let me know in the comment section or like this video then I will definitely make a whole tutorial about that particular e-commerce video okay moving forward first of all you need to log into your dashboard if you don't know how to log into your dashboard just come here type wp admin and you will be redirected to your dashboard okay if you're logging in for the first time it will ask you for the username and password which you have provided when you were installing wordpress on your hosting do remember that username and password that is one of the most crucial thing okay once you're logged in this is called the dashboard or the backhand of a wordpress website this is where all the magic happens so with the help of this dashboard, you will be able to edit, modify or customize each and every segment of your website. Let me give you a quick tour. On the left hand side, you will see appearance. So under the appearance hood, you will find theme, customization, widget, menu and starter plan. So with the help of theme, you can uh, change the theme. You can customize it. There are widget option and you can always create new menu for header option or footer option, right? And other option comes with the theme uh, like I'm using Astra theme as for now for this video purpose and coming forward to the plugin section. So basically plugins are uh, what should I say? It helps you to extend the functionality of a certain website. Like if you want a slider on your website, it will help you to extend that or achieve that functionality. Like if you are having a slider plugin, it will give you access to have a slider on your website. The most popular slider plugins are like slider revolution or smart slider okay under the user section you will be able to create multiple user and with the help of user you will be able to uh, assign them different role like if you want somebody to be a editor that can be editor and if you want somebody to be admin they can be multiple admin uh, okay so moving to the tool section under the tool section you can import uh, settings export setting you can check your site health export the personal data erase the personal data you can do everything and all that okay under these uh, general settings you will find general setting reading writing discussion setting with the help of discussion setting you will be able to uh, enable or disable the uh, comment section right like people do you want the people to comment on your blog post or page or anything like that so under the permalink this is one of the important setting you should always check this post type by default it comes comes up with the plain setting but always check this post name because it helps in seo right search engine optimization which is later on going to help you okay moving forward so today we are going to install that particular plugin on our website uh, so on the left hand side you will see plugin just click here add new okay so before adding the plugin let me show you there are a lot of free plugin available which has been provided by wordpress to use right if we check here there are almost 1400 pages of plugin and 51000 of free plugin available which has been provided by wordpress so why do we need a premium plugin the thing is premium plugin has a lot of functionality right you don't get a lot of functionalities in free plugin the free plugin always gives you the work done but the thing is 
there is always one functionality which is the most important functionality has been logged inside that plugin uh, let me give you an example uh, okay so this is one of the most famous plugin a uh, yoast seo okay but the thing is uh, this is used for making the seo of a uh, pages and post okay when you are doing the seo of page or is a regular post or an article there is an option to add a key phrase right and in the free version you are only able to add one single key phrase to add more than one single key phrase you have to buy their premium plugin so that's how their marketing goes like okay cool so i generally or normally prefer uh, suggest you that you should always invest your money in the initial stage of your business on premium theme and premium plugin okay moving forward let's upload that particular plugin select the file and if i'm not wrong that file is here inquiry plugin and let's upload it and activate it okay cool uh, i will just deactivate this plugin and let me show you what it exactly looks like before activating that plugin okay here are the all products uh, let me view one single product and this is the general co concept here will be the product name product price product description add to cart there will be category and here is the image of the product and there is a short description and review okay right now there is no inquiry form related to this product okay let's enable this plugin okay and coming back to the product page of a single product let's refresh this and now you see there is an option for product inquiry now any customer can put their name email and whatever inquiry they want to ask and send the mail and it will directly go to the admin and this particular form has been added in every single product so whenever a customer or a client has a inquiry related to a certain product he can directly go here and ask a inquiry rather than going to contact us and contacting related to a single product that's really not good okay so i hope you really get the point what is the use of a product inquiry form this is a super easy thing to install and i hope you really like this video i just want to wrap this video up so if you really like this video just give it a big fat thumbs up and i'll catch you in the next one